Hey, what's up you guys? It's DCUC Fanboy here. Um, reviewing the Series 1 Iron Man. I mean, we're just, we're just gonna get him in his packaging right now. I mean, he looks really cool. I mean, this is the best Iron Man to buy. Uh, the Toy Biz, not Toy Biz, but the, it was, is the Toy Biz one. But the Hasbro one, the two-pack with Maria Hill and everything. They say that's like a, a really good figure, but this guy's joints are better. Because that one's like it, the ball joint or whatever. I guess it comes with a ball joint, which I didn't notice. Uh, they say it's, the, the, the joints are just really stiff and everything. And uh, and this guy, he, he does, uh, you know, free moving joints and everything, re removable mask. But not when you swap heads, which is kind of annoying. The only thing I don't like is the uh, the boots right there. They don't have the little rocket boosters on the bottom, but, you know, this is a 2002 figure. I mean, even the articulation for 2002 was really good. I mean, he just looks really nice in this packaging and everything. So, uh, I mean, he looks, you know, I don't know, the package is kind of messed up, but he just looks so awesome in his packaging, so uh, let's bust him out of it. And, uh, of course, his little Stark display base right there, so let's open this guy up. All right. Alright, we got this dude out of his package, and he just looks freaking awesome. Let me get him up on something real quick. Uh, here we go, we got this thing. There we go, we can, yeah, put him on this little book. Uh, gosh, I got him in this cool little pose with his hand around the little Stark sign. That's kind of, kind of like ironic, or kind of, you know, like weird, because it's really cool. Because, I mean, he's, nobody knows that he's Iron Man. And for him to be standing next to a Stark sign when it's Tony Stark in the armor of the Iron Man, that's kind of like a kind of hint, but nobody really knows it is sort of kind of thing. But um, you know, it's really cool. I mean, his foot sir, foot or oh, it the uh, this foot came out with the peg. Uh, let me just get. Oh, there we go. It came out. But you know, it'll go back in really well. Oh, I guess it broke out. I guess it's not supposed to come out, but it it did. Oh, well, um, actually, these things, there's actually three pegs, one here, here, and here. Um, there's some great detail done into the base as well. Let me, uh, get all that awesome detail, you know, the peg there, peg there in the middle of the screen, and a peg right there, up on there. I mean, this thing just looks like a broke down, uh, you know, old thing, which I love the look. That's just great detail in this thing. It's just... It's done really nicely, really well. Um, get some light shown on that. I mean, the sign really is cool. Uh, the back, there's not really much detail. Oh, sorry. Oh, there's that. Oh, for it to go on a wall, I guess. Holy crap, that is just freaking awesome. I didn't know that thing can just go on a wall and you could just be standing there like, you know, what up? That's really cool. I guess this goes can go on the wall. That's really awesome. I didn't know that. So, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, but let's get down to the uh, figure. That's the uh, the base, which is uh, here's the base. So, uh, and this figure is kind of bulky, which is really cool. I like that look because I I believe Iron Man should be like that. He should be bulky because I mean he's just a dude in a big suit of armor. It it, it should be all ripped out and everything. Um, I mean he's just so free moving without being too free moving, if that makes any sense. I mean, throughout the entire figure, he just has amazing detail and shadowing. To be a 2002 figure, this guy completely pulls off his look and everything. He's really cool. The hands are done nicely with the little, uh, let me open these up real quick, the little repulsors in there. Wait, let me see, there we go, now I can get that in the camera. Oh, yeah, let me put that on there. I mean, it's done really well. It really is. Let me see. Is that good? Oh, it's for the camera. But, um, let me get a close-up on that. The hand is just done very nicely. Of course, it can close like that. But I I believe an Iron Man should have, like, there's been Iron Man figures with closed hands. I can't stand that. I think Iron Man should constantly be open-handed. And, like the movie figure for the Iron Man, He's just standing up sh like straight, you know, with his hands down, and to put him in a pose where his hand is like that is kind of stupid because, like, in the movie figure, because then you have to go like that to make it look like he's about to zap him, but it's like high five at the same time. 
which is really, I hate that. But with this figure, it's different because, I mean, you can, like, bend the hand right here, this hand articulation. And, oh, my gosh. Um, I mean, it's just really cool. I mean, you can pose it straight out like he's about to, just about to zap someone. I mean, it just looks, he just looks like a pimp. It really does. He's just so tight, uh, big and bulky. Um, I'm very glad I have this figure. I got him for 10 bucks at a flea market. And, you know, of course, I got him in packaging. When this guy goes online for like 50 bucks, sometimes and everything, I mean, he's just really cool. Here we go. It's a cool pose. He's about to zap someone like that. I mean, great detail. Um, you know, this is sort of like an accessory. He's a little stand. So, uh, I mean, he can do some uh, good poses on this. Of course, the uh, the normal one where he can be standing straight up. Let me get that. Let me stand this guy up. There we go. And then he can be like, I guess, oh, if you can pose, if you can pose his leg like this. Uh, let me see if that'll go. If, it can, if he can stand like this. Yep. Uh, oh, no, he's not gonna go. I'll get it to go. Excuse me. Ugh, there we go. There's just... No, no, it's not. Oh, that's really pissing me off. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but, um, the, his foot does go on this peg really well, and this one over here. So, uh, but it didn't go on that one, but that's still okay. That's, he's, I'm still really cool. Uh, you can, if you can pose him like... It'll look awesome if you could get him to go and uh, like that, or if you could have him on the wall, if he'd just be standing in front of the sign like this or whatever, and just to go like this and just look off or whatever. Um, very nice face sculpt or the head. Let me get him off. That. There we go. Uh, it's very nicely done because well, this mask just popped off. There we go. Uh, and the mask doesn't like. I thought the mask would like just fall off on its own, you know. Like an air toy biz would do or something. But it's actually very nice. Um, the way it comes off. Um, let me get a close up of the face. A nice shading or shadowing, whatever you want to say, to the face as well. It's done very nicely. Uh, the head sculpt in, in general is just really nice. Of course, his mask. The way it's uh, sculpted for the face. Just looks really nice. It really does. Like if you, I want to see if I can put some Play-Doh in there, and then take the Play-Doh out or whatever, and make it nice and hard, and take it out, and see if it looks like that face sculpt. That'd be cool. I just want to see if it'd do that. But um, you know, a really good figure. You should definitely pick them up. And this little arch isn't bigger than this one right here, which is really cool. Um, I thought it would be, but it's not. I mean. And it goes on perfectly. It snaps on. I mean, it's just a really great figure. This, to me, would be classified as a perfect figure. And I love the joints, how they're like this. I don't like the ball joint. I know that that's losing, like, two points of articulation because you lose the, the ball joint. But then you have to, like, turn the ball joint over. Or you go up. You switch it over and everything. It's just completely an annoying. It really is. I like it like this. That way you can just move the foot up. And everything. I mean, I just love this articulation with the double jointed arms and how bulky he is. I'm really looking forward to getting the Captain America. So also at my comic shop. And look at that. I just stand on him like that. Look how much slanting he is and he's standing up. This is just a great figure. And uh, let's get a zapping motion on in there. This guy is just awesome at standing. He's terrific at it. Let's look at him. Looks like he's about to zap someone, maybe zap you. Oh no. Oh, but um, he's just a perfect figure. He really is. Great figure. Uh, if, I mean, pretty much perfect figure. I would rate him at about 9.5 out of 10, maybe 10 out of 10. It's probably my first 10 out of 10 review. He's just really great. Um, I mean, you should definitely pick him up. If you don't have him, if uh, he's exactly 6 inches. Uh, if you don't have this guy, you should really buy him off eBay or offline. Uh, but this guy, he's just a great figure. You should definitely get him. They don't have the little rocket boosters on the bottom of the feet, of course. But still, an extremely awesome figure. You should go pick him up. So, uh, this is DCUC fanboy saying, buy this guy. He's freaking awesome. Probably the best Iron Man.